Kasabi show is a game show where celebrities compete to title Kasabi paintings for cash awards. And tonight's contestants are the great art writer for the New York Times and Art Forum, Linda Jablonski. <laughs> We have the great art writer for Art Forum, Art in America, Art Net Magazine, David Coggins. Mark. Hi. Okay. You want to correct your credit? Do you want to correct your credit, David? No art form. Night, night, night. I've never uh, gotten over uh, oh. the summer of '76. <laughs> oh. Well, you know, it's such a blur. I see your byline all over the place. You know. You know, people say I was on Letterman, and I never was on Letterman, <laughs> so I, I know what it's like. You are in so That's many other magazines, beard, right? so it may as well be art form, too. Okay, and then we have someone who definitely is regularly in art form, especially in seen and heard, and often in, with blue skin. Today she'll have a little bit of blue on the side of her face. The great performance artist and sociologist, Kendra Fowler. Yeah. <laughs> Canberra, great to see you. What's that on your shirt? Um, it's just a homemade uh, band t-shirt for Karen Black. Kind of That's your band, the voluptuous horror yeah. of Karen Black. Nice. Good to see you, Mark. Good to see you too, Canberra. Are you ready to look at the first painting that urgently needs the title? What do we call this one? Nobody has a title. I'll start offering the Facebook interloper title. Oh, are people titling f virtually as we speak? Well, you know, they do it for free on Facebook, David. <laughs> really? <laughs> Lisa, you're laughing, but yeah, that's, that's nervous like, laughter because you don't like the sound of that, right? That could cancel the whole, whole Kasabi show. We, some of the Facebook titles were uh, This Asks a Beach. Call waiting with a D. Cool. That's not bad. That's not bad. Not bad. Eric Wolfram. I was going to say Your incoming face. tide. Because they're like, also the people in the back coming together, the things coming, the water staying in the iPhone, so and the service there on the side, so incoming tide. Well, Fredo, you have to start with, with dangerous painting. Because the Facebook people had a great title. Can I buy Incoming Tide by David Carter for $20? Let's vote by raising your paddles, please. Incoming Tide. Wow, a lot of support. Oh, wow, that's impressive. Samoa. Samoa, you've got to vote. Samoa. Okay, oh, a lot of vote. Okay, all right. And, Kendra, your title was? Rapture. Rapture. Rapture, is that worth $20? Okay, how about Call Waiting? With a D, call waiting. That was $20. Uh, you got to vote. Uh, everybody, oh, a lot of support there. And this app's a beach. Is that worth $20? No. OK, I'm going to buy Incoming Tide by David Coggins. $20. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> competition and games. This could be an update of Caravaggio's card players. We have a competition. These two people are, are battling it out with their calculation devices. An abacus and a calculator with receipt ribbon curling out of it. Do we have any titles for it? All right. So, but are they going again? Are they racing the on who's faster? Is that what's happening here, Mark? Yeah, or on who's better. Or, or, who's, or on who's... Sometimes faster is not better. Accounting for taste. <laughs> That's not good, Louis. Uh, Cameron, do you have a title for this picture about calculation competition? Um, I like to offer the title The Deer Hunter. Why? She sees a deer in it somewhere. Um, I, I've got one, though. I do like that as much as I like that. How about um, calculated risk? That's good. Also, the deer in there is good because you said it's good, uh, David. Uh, and Linda Yablonski, do we have a title from you, Linda? Well, it makes me think of the 
card players? This is Ann. Yeah, me too. Oh, I, I guess that. Card <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it also makes me think of the Wall Street trading floor. Oh, yeah, the movie, Money Never Sleeps. Well, I haven't seen that yet, and probably won't. I can't wait to see that. I saw the trailers today on the <laughs> Really? Computer. I think yeah, we've been fabulous. there and done that already. Okay, so Linda, your title is? Money Never Sleeps. <laughs> okay, can I buy Money Never Sleeps yeah. by Linda Yablonski for $20? Quite possibly. Oh, it looks, no, that's the that's winner. $20 for Linda Yablonski. Thanks to Oliver Stone for that one. And what should we call this one about sharpening wit? I have a title, um, Mark, I'd like to Don't offer. Camera. I'd like to offer the title Court Mandated to Alcoholics Anonymous. <laughs> okay. Notice the painting, everything has a, a conical theme. Yeah. Her breasts are conical. His hat is conical. There's conical art on the wall. There's conical architecture in the background. And he's sticking a little conical voodoo doll into the uh, sharp cone sharpener. Uh. So we could call it Sharpen Your Wit, unless there's a better title by the luminaries. Do we have a title? How about uh, Iconical? Oh, that's good. <laughs> iconical with a little I and a big C, right? Like iPod. However, it. it works in a multiple over a number of platforms that, that would be the way it works yeah in, i thought that's what you would say mark and, okay what about linda or camera i i thought i like my title i don't know why what is it what's wrong with you people <laughs> god <laughs> we're all alcoholics <laughs> the triangle signifies yeah. the triangle of alcoholics anonymous you'll all find out okay. someday and it's valid <laughs> i'm not just trying to be you maybe valid. people don't want to admit that they recognize what it is <laughs> Can I buy Iconical with a little I and a big C by iTunes? Can I buy Iconical yeah. by David Coggins? Most likely yes, but just in case. Kebra had an interesting title about Alcoholics Anonymous. Could you repeat the title, please, Kebra? No, I, uh, I, I, no. I'm got, I got off to a bad start already this morning. Okay, I'm going to buy Iconical for $20. Thanks. Bye, David Coggins. And now we have a picture of money falling from the sky. And uh, the, the, the saved ones on the lap raft are scooping it all up with cash re registers floating among them. And now, uh, do we have a title for this picture? Um, well, I do, I'm noticing that all of these, um, the people on the raft are men. So I, and I think yeah. that these are the men that um, hogged all of the rafts um, a, um, after after the Titanic was sinking, and this is all the money and the goods that's flying. So this is the cowardly um, testosterone raft. The cowardly testosterone <laughs> raft. Can I add something, Mark? Well, Fredo likes that title. Mark, do we think that the, that the people in the boat deserve the money or don't deserve the money? They deserve the money. There is a guy. Uh, Mark? Well, well, you were right there. What's that? I think it's up to the viewer of the painting. All right, so... It's designed to provoke thought. Do we have a title to you, David? Yeah, I'm going to call it um, Eager Thievers. Eager what? Th thievers. Thievers. Uh, thievers, <laughs> like people who th theft. Instead of Eager Beavers, Eager Thievers. Just okay. came to me, Mark. Okay, got it. Can I buy Eager? Whatever he said, for $20. Okay, I'm going to buy David Cox's account. No, it's okay, you guys. Okay, just thanks, back David. off. It's Beavers, okay. Mark. Beavers, thanks. Beavers, Beavers. Yeah, uh, I'm going to use the cell phone. Later on, that was my first time. Like Jesus H. Oh, this painting deserves a title. People dancing around a giant iPhone or iPad or iPhone or 
Obviously, this was for a giant. Look at the size of those earbuds. And notice the little details on the ground, the little bulk on the sphere of perfection that has kind of a crescent moon lighting to it. Any? But why are they so happy, Mark? Because they left the because, because they don't have because they're not they left their book, so now they're to, to dance instead. And um, hmm. they're celebrating new technology. I see. Uh, but it also has a kind of monolith uh, feel to it, you know, a little right. bit of a planet of the apes, John the Kraken slab look to it. Do we have any titles? Um, Come these golden pony podiums. I, I like to offer the title, Mark. Oh, 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 oh. I, I'm on Grinder. I'm on Grinder. I see myself on Grinder. Oh, oh, oh. I see myself on Grinder. <laughs> That's fabulous. <laughs> David Cotton, do you have something even better than oh, 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 I'm on Grinder? It's somewhere between that and techno orgy. Uh, I, I, don't have, I don't have one yet worthy of uh, yeah, this story. away by. Karen Black. Linda, do we have something from you? Not quite there. I mean, it, it's it, it, it's uh, it looks uh, celebratory, but it also looks um, carnivorous, um, and uh, it, it looks like a sacrifice scene to me. So uh, they're uh, uh, almost, um, you know happy to get this thing out of their midst. On the other hand, it's as big as the skyscrapers. So it's a piece of architecture also. And um, well, I'll just call it higher and higher. Uh, I got okay. one for you too, Mark. What would that be, David? Well, because um, you don't need bookshelves anymore because you just have that one iPad, I'm going to call it Instead of self-defeating, shelf-defeating. Oh. Lynn, uh, camera Lisa. follower, do you want us to vote on yours now? Uh, yeah, I mean, clearly no one in this room is on Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> you are? Can I buy? Oh, 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 I'm on Grinder. Buy camera follower for $20. That's the best so far. I got another one. I got another one. <laughs> what is that, Linda? The bonfire of inanity. Yeah. Oh. Can I buy the bonfire of inanity by Lily Yablonsky? That's it, $20. Lily Yablonsky with the bonfire of inanity. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, obviously, it's a reference to Norman Rockwell. Thanksgiving themed image. But instead of a big turkey, they're being served a trap. And the bait is a contract. Hmm. Because it comments on, on the American way. This comes from one of Norman Rockwell's most famous images. So he's trying to, they're trying to make the family agree to some. What? The, the future? Something that gets the whole world into a big economic crisis, David Coggins. This, this drawing is full of political content. Um, I, like, I like to offer the title, please, Mark, because there's, there's really oh. slim pickings on the table. There's only radishes and celery and one lemon. And, um, so, and this is very depressive. So I, w I would like to call, offer the title um, Depressive. Criteria Cafeteria. <laughs> you, you have another good title too, Slim Pickens. But um, what's your your official title? Depressive uh, criteria. Uh, uh, depressive criteria cafeteria. It's so depressing. you even looking at this picture. It's so depressing. It's so sad. There's nothing to eat them. It's just it's tragic. Wait till you see it in color, uh, camera. Don't worry. Just say your title again. Depressive, uh, criteria, uh, uh, depressive, depressive criteria, 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 criteria. criteria. Mm -hmm. Can I buy that for $20? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. A gigantic old-fashioned telephone, a little cell phone, a clock, and CBS eye, mm -hmm. and two people kind of spooning while standing, cuddling and creeping along, 
during technological progress. Do we have any titles for this picture? This painting is a meditation on the intimacy of um, virtual conversation. I like that. You said it was about the intimacy of virtual conversation? Those, yeah. Those people are yeah. touching. Yeah, but that's it's not an virtual. They're really on. They're really in front of their TV, watching CBS or on the telephone. Ken Rapala, do we have a title for you? Uh, mine's sort of literal, I guess. I don't know. I'm not. I'm just. I just. I. 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 I'd like to offer the title, Two Dwarves Yesterbating in the CBS um, Props Department while contesting their AT and T contract. <laughs> Excellent. Now, what did they do? They're yesterbating. Yes. Can I buy Kimbra's brilliant title, which is basically a. a for twenty dollars, the uh, yeah, twenty dollars to Kendra Fowler. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now we have two angels, which who have one wing each. And the only way they can fly is if they're together. Aww. That's cute. Mark. Wouldn't that be um, mutually exclusive? <laughs> that seems on message. We're on subject. Kembra uh, or Linda, do you have a title? Uh, two angels with one wing each, and the only way they can fly is if they embrace each other. Do you have a title? Ah. Uh. It's, I don't know, oh God, um, it's so, so stupid, it's embarrassing. We like stupid, so um, go for it. Uh, uh, the Mile High Club. <laughs> <laughs> so Let's start with that, can I buy The Mile High Club by Karen Rafaela from the Voluptuous Horror, uh, Karen Black. That's it. $20 to Kendra Fowler for the Mile High Club. Yes, it looks like uh, they're having a, a bit of a very Italian dinner and they're arguing about something. Um, perhaps love. Perhaps he uh, isn't giving her what she wants and she looks like maybe she's taken she's missing her knife off the side of her plate. Ooh. So maybe she's holding that in her agent? right hand. Oh, that's excellent. <laughs> right now, it's five dollars to Allegra. Let me hold up. Can I, yeah. can I offer a mark? Would it yes, be uh, underhanded relationship? Nice. Edgy, because he's, he's experienced a little bit of cold sweat <laughs> while dining with this high maintenance woman. Kembra Fowler from the voluptuous horror of Karen Black. Do we have time for you? I like how you thought that the dwarf title was too literal. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, you apologize to the court for being so I'm, literal? Well, <clears throat> you know, this just is. Just another dwarf title. This is the only game show that I've ever been on, and um, it's a new experience. It's sort of, a, it, it can be really embarrassing, actually. It's, it's, it's challenging to be on this game show. But I like to offer the title, please, for um, name, the, name, name the painting. Um, is this a bad time to tell you I have cancer? <laughs> Cam Brown. It, it's a good title, but I, I, I want to sell this at the restaurant. <laughs> 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 
And if I buy that, you get twenty dollars, but I, I lose like twenty thousand dollars. But I, it could. It doesn't necessarily mean to be a negative. <laughs> They're in a nice restaurant. It's not negative, on, but it's they're, really Maybe they're on vacation. Yeah. Well, we'll ask the jury. Uh, uh, thank you, Canberra. Now, David Coggins, we have heard your title, right? Yep, underhanded uh, relationship. Okay, we heard your title. Let's go over to the big and for $50. Do you have the other half of your title ready? Well, this definitely looks like a serious argument, but it also looks like it's not the first one they've had. So I, I want to call it last date. Oh. Sorry, it's hard to come up with a positive title for this particular yeah, scene. Summer is over in New York City. I was thinking of something more positive. Um, oh, your oh, mom won't mind that. Your mother won't mind that we're dating now. <laughs> Mark Kasabi and Lisa Rosen love that title. Let's go to Linda Yablonski. Your, your title was? Last date. 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 Last $50. Thank you. That was work, all right. <laughs> oh, the, the breast money thief. She no longer has breasts, and now he's got them, but they're really just money bags. Do we have any titles for this breast money thief image? Any quick analysis from one of the experts at the blue table? Samoa, what do you think? He stole money. Asset. Yes. <laughs> what did he say, Alisa? Assets. Something to do with ass. He stole my bag of love. <laughs> bag of love. <laughs> All right, do we have titles from the luminaries? Uh. You know, double indemnity. Double indemnity, that's nice. Linda, can you top that? Not yet. I'm thinking about breast reduction surgery. <laughs> that's good. That's very but, good. Well, breast reduction is genius, in my opinion. Cameron, can you top breast reduction by Linda Yablonski? Um, well, I wasn't no. really a title, so. <laughs> I'd like to offer Cameron, Cameron, while we're on you, just, just for a second, I know we're going slow, but I just really want to know, who is Samoa? Um, Samoa is the founder and original guitarist for the Voluptuous Horror of Karen Black and is currently in a band called the Lonely Samoans and is a uh, is uh, a legend. He's a great guitarist, Mark. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for being with us, Samoa. Great guitarist. Okay. Thank you, Samoa. <laughs> yes. All right. Now back to Kendra Fowler. Uh, Do you have a title for this picture, or should we move along? Yeah, I, I'd say move along for this one. <laughs> okay. Can I buy breast reduction by Linda <laughs> Clark? <laughs> I can't think of anything better than that. Uh, uh, yeah, $20 for a single Thank you. Thank you, Linda. Well, also because plastic surgeons, you know, really, make they, make out. A, they make out. These three guys have decided that they're going to have their brains surgically connected to each other to create one giant, flaming super brain so they can better analyze the basic shapes at their fingertips. Is this a Scientologist? Can that analysis? How about uh, inquiring minds want to know? <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. Can I buy that on the spot? spot on the spot. Inquiring minds want to know for $20. Yes, yeah, the money goes to David Cox for inquiring minds want to know. Roman theme, columns falling. 
I did another version of this painting, and Glenn O'Brien brilliantly called it. She used to have a call. <laughs> <laughs> Just to let them know what kind of quality we have in our history. You know? Okay, now let's title this picture. This is a bit, um, <clears throat> it's a bit more slapstick than I thought at first. Because they look like they're doing this serious da dance, you know, like it's really quiet in the theater and suddenly the set she kicks out the set and he doesn't know it right you know so he, he's a, yes, he's and oblivious he's still, to it right? uh, going but uh, he's oblivious to the uh, so would that be the destruction of the very foundation of our society how about the so that would be like the law of unintended, unintended consequences well that doesn't look like an accident to me <laughs> that she's no, kicking the uh, column so yeah. Even though he and he's ignoring it or just hasn't figured it out, so uh, I, I guess I would like to call it female justice. Ooh, love it! Can I buy female justice by Linda Deblasky for twenty dollars? <coughs> yes, female justice it is.